everyone and welcome to the Battle Creek National Hair Scramble or that's what it was supposed to be unfortunately awesome the Drove race a couple was hundred miles just to be rained out so I guess we'll turn around and head back to see Alicia's family yeah see the baby yeah here. You'd think they would have somebody here to talk to us, though, to tell us. There was one truck here when we got here, but they had a trailer in the back, so I assumed that they were. See, I think that truck, the the, the lady's talking. I think that was here. I think that's a guy. <laughs> that's gonna be awesome. We're putting that on there. Look. I can't be held responsible. Excuse that. me, ma'am. Look at that flowing hair. How come you didn't keep recording that lady? <laughs> you should have kept recording. I her. think he saw me recording him, so I had to stop. Because I felt bad that I thought he was a woman. Okay, so let's try this again. After traveling 135 miles to Battle Creek, I then traveled 135 miles back home to the booster compound. From there I decided, hey, I might as well get some riding in today. So I went north and I'm not exactly sure how far, but I went to the Gladwin ORV trail. And I figured I would get some riding in anyway, you know, test my new bike out. I really haven't got to ride it that much yet. The most I've ridden it is for like five or 10 minutes around my dad's house. So I took it up there and the first thing I noticed is that the jetting is definitely off. Um, I would have been able to race it, but not to like the bike's maximum ability. Like it's got a mid-range, I, I want to call it like a flutter or a bog, I don't know, you guys can probably hear it, but I, I don't know. It, it would have ran, I mean as you can see I am riding it, but it, it wouldn't have ran like I want it to run. So I've still got some work to do to this bike to get it exactly where I want it to be. And uh, the second thing you might notice here, or maybe the first thing you might notice, I don't know, something you may notice anyhow, is that the format's a little different on this video. I've got a trail map in the upper left hand corner, and I've got a speedometer down in the right hand corner. And I think this looks pretty cool. I think this will be a good addition to my videos. Um, if anyone is thinking about riding this Gladwin ORV trail, if you've got a bike, I would say if you live nearby, you know, I guess go ahead and try it if it's not much of a trip. But if you have to travel any distance to actually go here, you might as well go somewhere else because you can see by the bouncing on the video you can't really see by looking at it but this has got some like deep whoops and they're just all over just constant pounding um what else I've had a real bad cold this last week and I actually had a fever for a couple days this last week and I was hoping I was going to be able to make it to the, the Battle Creek hair scramble and uh yeah I I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it. I was going to make some kind of smart comments about my performance enhancing drugs because I was on DayQuil, ibuprofen, and some like decongestant nasal spray just to try to be able to breathe. So <laughs> I'm having a hard time even breathing here right now. But uh, I was going to try to make it anyway, you know. But I, I guess it's going to be rescheduled for July. And uh, check this out. Here we go. We're going up this hill. Here comes the jump. Oh, scared me a little bit, but I wanted to see if I could get some air over it. So, <coughs> there's that cold again. So, yeah, this this trail is, is not real fun. It's all whooped out. I, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's not really that far from my house. I think it's within, like, I want to say 35 miles from my house. So, overall today... I want to say I did like 
I, I don't know how many hours in my truck just driving. I know I did over 300 miles driving today. And all of that for pretty much, it seems like 30 minutes of actual riding that I may have done. So, I don't know. I, I, I actually cut this ride a little bit short. A little bit short. I cut it a lot short. I, uh... I knew the bike wasn't running right. I didn't want to foul my plug out. And I didn't have the tools to take the carb all apart with me at this time. So, <coughs> so I just, as you can, if you look in the upper left hand corner at the map, you can see that like, it looks like I'm following a trail right now where that little red dot is. And then all of a sudden it stops and it just goes straight like back. And that's when I just turned I just turned down a road and went straight back to my truck because it wasn't running right. And to tell the truth, I'm pretty out of shape and I got tired pretty quick. So that's definitely something I need to work on. Considering how close this trail is, I might try uh, getting myself up there probably two or three times a week to try to get myself in better shape. Because honestly, the best thing you can do, check this out, I, oh, <laughs> but honestly, the best thing you can do to try to get yourself in better shape for riding is just to go riding. And as whooped out as this piece of crap trail is, it works you out really hard. You have to, you have to really be on your game to like, stay on the trail and carry any speed because it's just whoop after whoop after whoop <coughs> man my throat is bothering me so let's see I've, I've still got a while on this thing left so I've got my brother-in-law Zach and my brother-in-law's brother Tyson that are interested in riding these hair scrambles with me so this is going to be pretty interesting getting these guys out there and they're gonna ride in the same class as I am and it's <coughs> it's gonna be pretty cool having two of my buddies riding with me you know we can kind of compete against each other and uh, it's just it's a whole lot more fun to go riding with people see right here I'm out here and I'm just riding by myself and I think that's another one of the reasons why I cut the ride short. If I was with other people, you know, I would have kept riding. But when you're just when you're by yourself, it's just it's not nearly as fun. Got a little air right there. I I was I like this bike, you know. This is the first time I've had this bike out and I like it, you know. This this bike feels nice. It it feels pretty strong. It's just got that little mid-range like jitter to it where it's you know I, I don't want to call it a bog because it doesn't feel like it's like starving for fuel or anything it just feels like it's a little tick 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 it just gets stuck right there in that mid-range if you're if you're only on like I want to say half to three-quarter throttle it'll get stuck in that mid-range and just like stick there and you can you can get it out of that by whipping it some more gas so I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's lean or if it's running rich, but I'm gonna play with the needle position a little bit and I'm gonna see what that does for me because it's on, it's not that far off. I mean, down low it feels good. Up high it feels like it's pulling good and hard. So I don't know, I'm gonna play with the needle position and maybe the, uh, the fuel to air screw a little bit because I don't think this jetting is that far off. If it pulls good on the bottom and it pulls good up high and just in the middle it's got a little bit of a hang up you know there's just a little small thing that needs to be tweaked and we're coming up here on uh, <laughs> me slowing down in my hard hard breathing I don't know if that turns you guys on or what but I'll let you sit here and listen to my hard breathing for a second <sighs> Oh, 
I've got to get in better shape. And pretty much from here on out in this video, um, it's just me trying to figure out what the problem is with the bike. You know, I'm I'm kind of trying to to get into that range to where the bike is acting up, so I can figure out what I need to do to fix it. I don't know what that noise is. And right I just there. follow the trail out a little bit and end up on the road. Yeah, I can see the sign up ahead there now. And I just wanted to get a video out because, you know, they canceled the race, but I still want to put something out there for you guys to watch, you know, if you're interested in watching it. And even if you're not, I felt like making a video because I like my new format and you guys can leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about it. I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, right here too, I was trying to keep it right in that range, trying to listen for what was wrong with it. And I ride on back to the truck, and that's it. I'll catch you guys next time.